Austin has gone to sleep. Shh. <laughs> okay, so today I received something pretty cool in the post that I want to share with you. Um, and that is the Easy Lock Celebrity Range, the Superstar hairpiece. Um, so it comes in a box like this. And it is basically a three-quarter length wig. Not, not three-quarter length, three-quarter wig. Um, and da -da -da, it's non-human hair, but it's heat resistant. Blah, blah, blah. Pieces can be shampooed, blow dried, straightened and curled up to 180 degrees. Possibilities are endless. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so the Superstar hair piece is a multi-layered, heat-resistant, non-human hair piece that introduces massive amounts of volume and length in an instant for every A-lister, <laughs> obviously. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so I've watched some demos on how to do this. So I'll show you the one I've got. My hair colour doesn't match it exactly because this is a lot cooler. You see how my hair is a lot warmer. So we've got an issue there, um, but that's nothing that can't be fixed really with a little bit of toner and some semi-permanent dye. I've been basically getting the red out of my hair um, the last few weeks using hair colour remover. So this is it. Oh my God, look how long and bouncy it is. So they will say, brush it off your head. And this is my Donna Love Hair wig brush that they sent me with my wig, so I thought that would be a good one to use. Now, a three quarter wig doesn't cover your whole head, it covers from like here backwards. So it's the same as like other wigs, kind of in the cap construction, um, except you have a bigger comb at the top and a little comb at the bottom. So, what I'm going to do or what they say you should do, is basically part where your ears are. Now, I can't find my pin tooth comb, so I'm using tweezers to part my hair, which I'm sure is not the best thing to part your hair, but what can you do? Um, so part there, and I'll use my brush. I probably want to part it quite a bit further back. Okay, so I'm pulling all this bit that's in front of my ears forward. Now, because my hair's short, I'm going to tie it into a little ponytail and push it inside the wig. Um, because I don't want it sticking out underneath because it's just going to look weird and not blend as easily. Um, so I'm just going to bubble that up. I would pin it down, but I haven't got a pin. Because obviously I'm really well prepared for this. Not. So, then this section here, we want a back comb to give it some grip. Now, I'm going to struggle again because I haven't got my back cane brush. I can't find anything at the moment, don't ask me why. I was having a clear out and I never got around to finishing it. So, if I back comb that, I would back comb it more if I was going out. So you've got these combs, this big comb at the top. Yeah, stay down here. So, I'm literally going to bring it in here pull it back. Now I'm going to take my hair, get this comb underneath, pull it down over the back of my hair and then tuck it up in. So at this point you're like, oh my god, what is this? But you can see really bad how my colour doesn't match, but like I say, we'll work on that. Um, and then what you do is, da -da -da. probably could have done with leaving more hair out of the front. But you like would back comb it and bring it over so it blends in. I'm gonna try this again. I think we need to put it further back. Because that's not looking too hot, is it? So let's take my bubble out. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So I'm gonna take it a lot further back. I've just knocked a ball ball off the tray. That was not part of the plan. Okay, so this bit. Front of my ears. See, we'll just have to learn how to do this together. Cause I don't actually know. I'm just going off tutorials and things that I've watched. Um, it doesn't help that my hair's just washed. What I really need is to do a back comb. Get my proper back comb out. This is from Easy Locks. Um, it says on the box easylocks.com. 
I'll stick a link to it um, somewhere when I've finished. Let me just pull that hair out of that clip. Let's start again. So, where's the clips? So this goes in here. That oh, feels better already, the fact that it's further back. Oh, I forgot to... Okay, I haven't tied my hair up this time. We'll just go with it. Ooh, look at all that length and volume. Okay, so now I've got more hair at the front. This is part of my problem because I haven't got much hair at the front at the moment. Mm -mm -mm. I really don't. And I haven't got anything to back comb this with either. Which is a bit of an issue. Um, okay. Alright, so that already looks better than before. Um, much better than before. But you can see, like, obviously my hair is not blending too well with this. You can see already, it's quite easy to wear. Actually, my hair blends in a bit as I brush it. But you can see that my hair is much warmer and this is a much cooler tone. And because this is heat resistant, I can straighten it and lengthen it. See, this is why I wanted to tie my hair up underneath. But you can do different things with this. So, for example gonna have to work on that top area definitely gonna need some work there but you can tie it into a ponytail you could do it in a side ponytail that's a bit better you could plait it I don't know. Hang on. just doesn't feel very secure I'm sure there's something I'm not doing right <laughs> but I don't know what it is um, but considering this is synthetic, even compared to the last wig I had that was synthetic hair, this feels so much, so real. And it's not really shiny, which is really annoying when you get synthetic hair that's really shiny. I've seen no shedding with this so far either. So that's been nice. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. I'm just going to have to do some work on how I put it up. And obviously my hair needs to tone get toned a bit cooler as well look at that Ooh, sick there okay so yes yeah, so I've got work to do but you can literally just like pin all your hair back I suppose over it mm, quite like that look oh look now I've got a big old player mm. yeah I'm gonna have to do some work shall we give it one more go I'm gonna try one more time maybe that time I put it too far back hmm. I definitely need to find my back comb back comb and brush mm -mm. yeah but I do really like the colour I really like the style I really like the length it brushes out really easily um, but what I am going to need to do like I say is tone my own hair and do some practice at getting this thing into my hair so at the moment, I'll just put it on the chair so it doesn't knot up again. At the moment, we're struggling here. But I think part of this is down to my lack of actual hair as well. So let's start again. You can really see how thin, like you see there how thin it is at the minute. So that's why we was dubious about three quarter wigs. Because where I need to cover up, although I have got thinner bits at the back as well, but where I need to cover up really is more around the front. But I'm definitely thinking when my hair's a bit longer as well, and when um, it's a bit thicker on top, this is going to be ace. So let's try it again. Mm -mm. Let's try it again. There's quite a few colours on the website that you could have. Yeah, hair loss is from the iron from the anemia. It's a pain in the arse. Some of my fingernails fell off as well, but they've pretty much grown back now. So that's a good sign. That gives me hope that things are on the mend. Um, let's just brush all this forward. Part in the middle so I can see. Let's see if I can squeeze that in that ponytail. Okay, 
third time lucky. I'm getting really hot doing this now. So, like before, combs. I'm going to try putting them in further forward and then, oh yeah, that, that definitely feels better. Now I can pull this down and pull the comb under the back. Oh yeah, that feels a lot more secure this time. A lot more secure. Like if my hair matched, instantly it would be a better thing. Um, I'm going to have serious trouble with my lack of hair covering this. What you're supposed to do is like get this section and like back comb it and then just like pull it over. But because my hair doesn't match. Although, could I get away with like a high half pony? Potentially. Hang on, let's get some more front hair here. This could work. Take this. Because it's quite dark at the top, my hair. Ooh. No, I quite like that. Ooh. That's a bit better, isn't it? A bit better. Yeah, I definitely need to tone my hair to suit this. This is a lot cooler shade than my hair. My hair's quite warm at the best of times. And like I said, I've been trying to remove heat from it. Yeah, I can't back comb my hair because I can't find my back comb brush. Um, so that's a bit of a pain um, at the moment. So I just wanted to get on and do this video so you can see. Oh, I actually really like that. Oh, ooh. Half pony might be the way to go for me. Ooh. Ooh, look how much hair. But it doesn't look, even though it's long, it doesn't look like the wigs that I had. It's a lot better styled. It's less hair. Although there's still a lot of volume. Um, so this could be a real genuine solution. I want to see what it looks like straight as well. Because I can straighten this. But at the same time, I'm thinking, do I want to straighten it? Because then I'm going to lose the curl. And then, because I'm crap, I can't put that back in. Yeah, if I can just find my back comb brush and sort out my hair. The other option I've got, actually, brought a couple of bits in with me, is hairbands. So, this is a wire thing. I think it was like 20p off eBay years ago. In fact, I got a job lot for a car boot. Ooh, so I could just stick a hairband in. Ow, cramping my foot. <gasps> mm, that needs some work to do that. But that would be potentially a good way to hide that seam. While I've got no hair. Definitely need to. It's a shame that it's in some ways that it's synthetic hair. Because I could dye the extensions if it was real hair. To match my hair rather than dye my hair to match the extensions. Because I don't really want to do much dyeing at the moment. Because my hair is such a fragile state. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, this, this could work. It could work like maybe not so it's sticking up quite like that but it's a good idea but then you can pony down it <gasps> pony down oh yeah i like that i like that and then i don't have to be so hot because it's not it's off my neck so that is one thing about wigs and half hair or three quarter hair is it does make your head hot and when you have to wear one all day it's not the best fun so yeah I could get used to this but I definitely definitely not a perfect colour match but I don't know maybe I can tone my hair a bit more to cool it down we'll try yeah it's still got the other ones um, but if it's this hot wearing a full wig in winter how does anyone manage it in summer i really don't know i'm going to keep practicing with this um because i do really like it i really really like it but um yeah i'm just gonna have to dye it and find my back comb brush can't even find my pintail comb i don't know where anything is um oh yeah 
Look at my big bouncy hair. If I was going out, out, this would be fun. Oh, it's just like, yeah. Mm. It's just a shame. Mm. Mm. But I do like this hair colour. I think this hair colour suits me. What do you think? Yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm just sitting here now looking at it and I've just got it on Christmas tree. So I'm going to go and play with this a bit more and see if I can find my background brush. <sighs> Alright, I'll catch you later. Bye.